The youth are our future. They hold in their hands the agency to affect the world's politics, progress, and reform. Over 50% of global youth, or over 1.1 billion people aged under 30, reside in Asia and the Pacific, a region facing many issues in water scarcity and climate change. If we are to achieve water security and resilience in our region, we must find a way to better engage the youth. ADB's Water Sector Group has partnered with ADB's Youth for Asia to develop a roadmap for meaningful youth engagement in the water sector. The roadmap includes evidence of the effectiveness of youth participation and pathways to achieve it. Young people must be fundamental partners in improving water security. This means promoting safe and conducive spaces for intergenerational collaboration where youth can co-decide and co-implement decisions affecting their future. Developed through intergenerational dialogue with water stakeholders, the roadmap sets out five objectives in support of a water secure Asia and the Pacific that empowers its youth to work with governments and local communities. For each objective, the roadmap draws a set of actions to influence policy, projects, and program design. It also seeks to generate and share knowledge to deepen the understanding of the youth perspective and provide a voice for young people in influencing change. My name is Saizana Pan. I am Cambodian. I got the opportunity to work as Youth Watch Coordinator in ADB's Rural Water Supply and Sanitation Project. I am here because I believe that every young person can contribute to achieving a vision of water supply and sanitation for all. I am here to bring out and implement the novel ideas that youth have. I believe youth has the potential and wills to contribute and youth can change mindsets in communities. If we want to bring and sustain innovation, digitalization, climate resilience and inclusiveness to our water projects and programs, then we need to build the right cadre within our water entities on the ground. A starting point will be to assess how inclusive your water entity is and to prepare a roadmap. Together we can achieve water security and resilience in our Asia and Pacific region by involving the majority citizens of tomorrow, our youth. <laughs>